Several years ago, I was uh, speaking in Dallas, Texas, and it was for a group of uh, pharmaceutical sales reps. A really high energy crowd, lots of uh, shouting from the crowd, and very extroverted group. So I had a lot of fun. I finished the speech and a guy came up to me at the end and he said, um, well, he invited me uh, to go up to his room. He was having a big party. It's on the 16th floor. All the other vendors are gonna be there. And uh, so I don't live in Dallas, Texas. I, I mean, I have nothing else to do. Why not? I rang the doorbell to his hotel room and two double door mahogany doors open. And the place is absolutely beautiful. It's jam packed with pharmaceutical sales salespeople. So super loud, everybody's drinking. Well, there was a grand piano in the corner of the room, right? The place just flowed all over the place. It was huge. I think it was the entire top floor of the Hyatt. There was a hot tub in one corner of the room. I went around, I counted seven television sets in that room. <laughs> Amazing. Now this capacity of this room is likely about safely 70 people. Um, but I'm pretty sure there was well over 100 people in there. <laughs> Brings me over to a group of people and they, they started talking about my speech. And uh, the guy standing across from me says, well, we're really honored tonight by your presence. And I remember thinking, well... <laughs> I'm actually not very present right now. But that's not the sort of thing that you say at a party. Uh, because what happened is as soon as I finished speaking, I went downstairs, I did my quick workout, and then I went on Facebook. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm on, on social media, I pay attention to how it makes me feel. And usually it's not very self-affirming. Uh, I'm not really sure why. It's just I don't think, I think it's like a flash in a person's life. It's not their real life. And so people are either doing super great or super not great. And so often it just is confusing or it makes me worry. So in this case, I was on Facebook earlier and I was scrolling through my feed and then I came across a picture of my dog. <laughs> uh, and the picture caption said she had died yesterday. I found out on Facebook. So actually she's not really my dog anymore. I lost her in a previous, in a relationship breakup. It was kind of one of the negotiating points that he got to keep the dog. And so along with that, Seeing my little dog's face, knowing that she was no longer here, uh, there's a lot of guilt and anger and resentment on my part in all of it. So I quickly slapped on my lipstick and I ran up to the 15th floor to this party. And so here I am in this room with all these wonderful extroverted people and they're all being super nice to me. And this guy says, thank you for your presence. And I thought, what presence? I'm not, I mean, I might physically be here, but I'm not actually here. <laughs> My mind is tangled up in all these thoughts of the past. In my body, there's all these messy emotions. Of but that's not the sort of thing you say at a party. Makes you a bit of a party pooper. Give me a cocktail, a very stiff cocktail, right? So, you know, like vodka or self-awareness. I don't know, <laughs> I'll take the vodka, thanks. So I actually had a really great time at the party. I had a flight the next morning, uh, six o'clock a.m. American Airlines, and the entire time I decided, I learned this from someone probably on YouTube, uh, when you have emotions about someone or something, here's something you can do. Uh, I, I just thought about my dog the whole flight, the whole hour. Because what's 
going on in my head is I'm thinking about my dog with love and compassion. I'm just remembering her, all of her positive qualities, and just sending her love and compassion. And I have to say, it really worked. I got off the plane and I felt a lot better. And so this story is going around in my mind because I think about presence. Right now, we can't be present in the same room the way we used to. I mean, certainly we're not gonna get 150 pharmaceutical salespeople in the same room right now, um, or anyone. We're not even allowed to have more than like 15. So we can't be physically present, but we can still be present. You know, what's better? You can show up somewhere, but not really be present, be caught up in fear and anger and all your thoughts. Um, or you could actually not even physically be there with someone, but you can send them positive thoughts and energy, kindness, compassion, love. Think about their, their wonderful qualities. I actually think, I actually think your positive energy and frequency and thoughts towards another person is far better than even being there physically present. So